And here we are, just got started on Devil's Lake here. Working a little transition line uh, through a rattle spin down there, a little buck shot, and uh, that's, uh, that's what we're out here for. A little beautiful walleye here this morning. Get him unhooked. Get down there and see if we can't get another one. Here we are with just another De Devil's Lake walleye. Um, beautiful looking fish. He's a little bit on the smaller side, but you know, we have a healthy population of walleyes in the system. So this is just another, another specimen of what we have in this lake and uh, we'll release them, let them grow. Maybe we'll be able to get, catch them again in a couple years. Let them get a little size to them before we uh, decide to keep one. Well, as the, uh, the day progresses here, we started out with some walleyes. It was more of an overcast. And as the, uh, as the sun's been coming out, the day's the sun's getting a little higher in the sky and the, the light's penetrating the ice a little bit more. And uh, we managed to get, uh, get the perch to turn on a little bit here. So we, maybe we figured out a little bit of a pattern here. Oh, just got hooked up into another one here. Seemed to be uh, furring the wax worms. Not a lot of size to them, but they're certainly stacked down there. Seem to be coming off the bottom a couple feet. Uh, seems like the, the the clear day is certainly helping us out with the uh, the light penetrating through the ice, and those perch really seem to turn on. You got one, Tanner? Yeah, I got one here. Yeah, we got a double here. Devil's Lake is known for its walleye and perch fishing, and you know around here you're going to focus on the walleyes on an overcast day. Uh, as the day progressed, we're uh, getting a little bit more sunshine out. So we've been getting out a little bit deeper, trying to get these perch that are a little more uh, light sensitive. We've been concentrating on transition lines in the lake right now on the tops and the bottoms of them, looking for these perch that are cruising along those points. And we are, we are having to use, you know, kind of a calling technique, you know, sticking a, a rattle, a buckshot or a jigging wrap uh, to call them in and then send in something a little smaller with a waxy on to to kind of get that finesse bite. Oh, just got hooked up with another one. It was like a smaller perch. Do you need help with the transducer, Ryan? Kinda... No, I don't think so, Tanner. A little finesse bite. Having to work a little bit harder for them. Just again, working those transition lines and having to drill a lot of holes. Just having to search for them. This is one of those situations, again, where you pull up to a spot, punch a couple of holes, catch a few fish, and then it's time to move on and start, start going into the other areas. Um, you know, Devil's Lake Tourism makes it easy to be able to uh, get on the lake and fish a lot of different parts of the lake. We have plenty of public access points that we have cleared out in the wintertime to make getting on the lake a lot easier so you can get to some of those spots that hold a lot of these famous world-class jumbo perch. Got them. Alrighty, we got another fish going here. You know, the, the beauty of Devil's Lake is there's a lot of miles of shoreline out here. And there's not just hotels in town. If you're more of someone that would like to stay on the water, near the water, there's a lot of resort options like Woodland Resort, Lakeview Lodge, West Bay, um, you know, our local casino here. There's a beautiful perch we just pulled out of there. Our state park out here, Grams Island State Park, is a great park. Uh, in the winter, if you're looking for a little maybe uh, relaxation or something off the beaten path to get you away from the fishing for a little bit. They have a beautiful cross-country ski trail out there that's great for the kids. If they're uh, looking for a little mid-afternoon break, it's a wonderful way to get the kids outdoors, get the family out there, and heck, they got a boat ramp right there to get on the ice. It's a great way to just make a little bit of a mix-up in the day. There are a lot of great hotel options in Devil's Lake with over 600 rooms available to the guests. The hotels have been very accommodating to the anglers coming to town by putting up their own fish cleaning stations. These fish cleaning stations have their own deep freezes in there available to the guests staying at the hotel. The hotels also have put in dog kennels for those of you coming up and taking advantage of uh, some of our great duck and goose hunting. And also a lot of these hotels offer an early morning hot breakfast to the anglers so you can get on the ice at first light. Well, we got another one on the line here. Let's uh, see if we can not get ourselves another fish topside. Alrighty, here we are. There's another Devil's Lake perch right there. 
this is one of those perfect sizes. How about we go get this sucker over to the cleaning house and uh, find ourselves a little fish fillets for a little fish fry. Clean them up, that sounds like a good idea. Well, we just finished up a few hours on the ice and put together a nice little basket of fish. Yeah, we were able to find both uh, perch and walleyes, you know, working those transition lines even with that east wind today. You know, we did. We uh, were able to accomplish a couple things and find a little mixed bag of fish, and that's the thing about Devil's Lake is just keep drilling and drilling and drilling. And now we're here at the uh, heated cleaning house over by Ed's Bait Shop, getting ready to uh, clean up our mess of perch and walleyes today. And you know, this indoor heated and cooled fish cleaning station here for the public to use is just another great way that Devil's Lake makes a bit, things very accommodating to the angler coming into town. Uh, if you would like to find out more information to get yourself on a trip like we just had here, you can visit our website at devilslakend.com. For Ryan Nelson and Tanner Cherney, Midwest Outdoors will be right back.